Let's turn to the forecast. Yesterday was so, so nice and some storms uh, moving in later on tonight. Yeah, you know, all good things come to an end yep. and that's going to happen this evening. And some of us could get a few strong storms as the front does arrive. So I want you to stay weather aware, especially if you're on the western side of the state. For our friends from Terre Haute to Lafayette, closer to Peru, it's kind of the zone that we're watching later today for those storms to develop, uh, mainly between about 2 and 4 p.m. So we've got a lot of time before we have to deal with that. In the meantime, we are waking up to not a bad looking sunrise over there in that eastern horizon currently sitting at 69 degrees the wind coming in out of the south 13 miles per hour sustained right now but I'm anticipating gusts today in excess of 30 miles per hour at times so it will be a breezy day but once again that means a warmer day sunrise today officially at 655 so we're just oh just about 10 minutes away from that happening now 69 degrees heading into that seven o'clock hour and then around 74 by nine and by 10 o'clock this morning already sunny and 75 as close cloud cover starts to build back in. Now as we get into the afternoon, we will approach the upper 70s by 1 o'clock and then eventually into the low 80s for highs today. So going to really feel like summer once again with these unseasonably warm temperatures sticking around. 81 your forecast high here in Indy today, 80 in Greencastle and into the upper 70s from Lafayette to Kokomo. This is when things are going to change a bit. I do anticipate more cloud cover for everybody today as this next storm system does move in, but still looking at those temperatures recovering into the low 80s despite that increased cloud cover. Now after 2 p.m., notice that this line is going to set up over on the western side of the state. So from Terre Haute up closer to Lafayette, that's kind of the leading edge that we're watching for that potential of some damaging wind gusts and potentially some rotating storms of developing along the cold front here as we get into the evening tonight. Now, as we look ahead at the six o'clock hour, this could start to impact northern parts of the state like Kokomo up to Peru. But then we get a little bit of a break before this main line gets its act together, and then that's going to cross the state mainly after sunset from west to east and quickly lose momentum as far as that severe threat goes. That's going to go down during the overnight. But before that, Storm Prediction Center is watching this zone here from Lafayette to Peru and parts of Kokomo as well as we see this uh, upgrade here to a level two of five from the Storm Prediction Center, meaning there is a chance we could see those scattered strong to severe storms through the evening tonight. Now I do want to pause here at midnight. This is as that line moves into the metro, but really just after midnight, those are the uh, dynamics I was talking about that we're going to lose and that severe threat comes to an end no later than about three o'clock in the morning. And then on the back side of that system, we'll deal with some lingering rain showers during the first part of the day on Monday as that cooler air starts to take back over. Temperatures will fall back into the mid 50s during the middle part of the morning on Monday. And then eventually, as we get into the afternoon, that rain will exit. We'll see a slow recovery for our temperatures, but really not going to be much of a warming trend tomorrow. Once that sky clears, temperatures recover back briefly into the 60s, but then that much cooler air takes back over. Lows falling into the upper 30s to get our Tuesday started, only into the 50s for highs Tuesday afternoon. But we've got a couple of mornings here next week where we're talking the potential of frost. Wednesday morning and Thursday morning forecasting lows in the mid to upper 30s. Really anything in that zone, we could see some patchy frost developing, especially in outlying locations. So I know it's been nice this weekend getting us thinking about gardening and getting those plants of the ground. I still would hold off at least through this next week with that cooler air that's possible through midweek. Temperatures will eventually start to warm back up 63, partly cloudy Thursday and into the upper 60s to wrap up next week.